An ideal spring requires 30 newtons of force in order to stretch 5 meters. What is the spring constant? This is an application of what's called Hooke's Law. We know that Hooke's Law states that the force is equal to K, the spring constant, times the value for displacement, or X, or change in X, elongation or compression for a spring. Let's just take a moment and identify what we know again. If we come up to the top and we identify values given, we know that we have 30 newtons of force and we have stretch or elongation of 5 meters. So force is 30. Elong elongation or change in length is 5 meters. What is the value for K? So Again, we'll apply Hooke's Law. We know that force is Kx. Manipulating this, we know that K will be force divided by elongation, delta x. Take a moment and look at this. Force is measured in newtons. X is measured in meters. So this spring constant will always carry units of newtons per meter. Physical meaning, again, is that how much force is required to stretch it uh, one meter. Stiff springs have big K values. Light springs have small K values. So we can sub in the numbers. The spring constant will be the force, which is 30 newtons, divided by the elongation, 5 meters and we end up with 6 newtons per meter. And this means that this spring would require 6 newtons of force to stretch it 1 meter, 12 newtons of force to stretch it 2 meters, and so on. The farther you stretch your spring, the more force is required.